Dear customers, a very warm welcome to our e-mobility deep dive. And this deep dive is really about shaping the next. My name is Jasper Hafkamp, and I'm heading the global marketing. And together with Laura Kensler, we would like to take you on our e-mobility journey to the future in the upcoming 10 to 15 minutes. If you have any questions during the session, please ask the questions and we will have time to answer some of your questions at the end of the deep dive. Ladies and gentlemen, dear customers, I think if you switch on the television today or you look in the newspaper or in the internet, one hot topic is really CO2 reduction and sustainability. Even last week, the European Commission announced or recommended additional targets for CO2 reduction already in the year 2030. We in Europe have to reduce CO2 reduction by 55%, which is, I think, overall a huge, huge challenge. A huge challenge for all of us, so also for our industry and also for you, our customers. I can imagine that you already kept a lot of questions from your customers what you are going to do to reduce your carbon footprint. And I think, and we are convinced, that e-mobility plays a key role in getting to that kind of targets and to really come to CO2 reduction. And I can tell you, we have a lot of experience. We collected a lot of experience over the last years. We are already learning a lot about e-mobility. And we learned one thing. E-mobility is really about cooperation and collaboration. It's the people from Mercedes-Benz trucks together with you, our customer, the freight forwarder, and your customer. I think it's a kind of triangle, and you really have to optimize the cooperation and collaboration in this triangle. A lot of people ask me, Jasper, what can we do about e-mobility? How does e-mobility work at the end? I can, I can give a lot of answers to that, but maybe it's better to ask a customer. Mr. Schmidt, Let's see a short video. Ich heiße Rainer Schmidt, bin Geschäftsführer der Logistik Schmidt GmbH. Wir haben sechs Standorte in Süddeutschland mit ca. 300 Mitarbeitern. Im Wesentlichen sind wir tätig für Industrieunternehmen, schwerpunktmäßig in der Automobilindustrie und siedeln uns mit Logistikkomplexen im Umfeld einer Fabrik an und machen die Logistik und die Bandversorgung. Der Ehrtros ist an unserem Logistikstandort voll mit integriert. Wir fahren pro Werktag 60 Transporte in die verschiedenen Automobilwerke der Daimler AG. Und davon übernimmt der Eagtros zwölf Fahrten pro Tag. Das sind vier pro Schicht rund um die Uhr ist das Fahrzeug im Einsatz und integriert sich nahtlos in die Flotte. Ich empfinde mich so ein bisschen als Übergangsgeneration. Bin mit Dieselgeruch in unserer eigenen Werkstatt aufgewachsen und jetzt schnuppern wir in das Thema E-Mobilität hinein. Und dass wir da mitmischen dürfen, macht uns natürlich stolz. Klar. As you can see, our e-mobility journey has already begun. We are not talking about a distant future. We are talking about an e-mobility which is currently in use today in the truck industry. The pioneers of our innovation fleet already use these trucks in different use cases like urban and heavy duty distribution, already today fully electric. And with our Sears truck next year, we will go one step further. Within the collaboration with our innovation fleet, we have learned a lot. So one major finding was that e-mobility is just more than a new drivetrain. It's not just delivering an e-truck. We have to offer integrated solutions which are embedded into a complete ecosystem. And this ecosystem includes specific services, charging infrastructure solutions, and especially a holistic e-consulting. What do we mean by that? Let's have a look. Ja, we zijn zeker ook wel trots dat we ook nu met dit voertuig wederom zeg maar iets echt vooraan staan. Die noodzaak is er omdat wij in 2025 te maken hebben met de zero emissiezones in Nederland. Dan moet je op tijd voor geprepareerd zijn. We rijden met duizend trucks elke dag. 
De uitdaging is voor ons als logistiek dienstverlener van hoe ga je ervoor zorgen dat onze wagen storingvrij de dag door komt en niet met lege batterijen komt te staan. We weten gewoon dat die communicatie tussen wagen en charging infrastructuur. Mercedes-Benz heeft vanaf het begin af aan, toen we dus met dit project starten, ook de koe bij de horens gevat. En ook ons, en met name Albert Heijn, bij de hand genomen van joh, onze wagen werkt het beste als je die en die laadtemperatuur op die en die manier gaat installeren. Mercedes heeft in feite naast de wagen ook know-how en diensten geleverd om te zorgen dat die laadinfra gaat werken met die auto. Want zonder dat waren we nu nog niet halverwege geweest. Het is niet alleen het kopen van een truck, het is een heel systeem. Nou, de eerste ervaringen met de e actros die zijn heel erg positief. Mensen die omkijken, die hem nakijken, zelfs die de dampjes omhoog steken. Dat gebeurt spontaan in de stad. Thank you Simon Loos and thank you Albert Heijn for sharing your first experience with our new e actros And I think this is a very good example how this triangle is working. The people from Mercedes-Benz with the customer, the freight forwarder, and the end customer. A very successful collaboration. I think what we learned also from Simon Loos is that it's not only about buying a new truck. It's really about the whole ecosystem. It really has to do with your individual needs. And therefore, we decided to have our e-mobility consulting to really support you in the way going forward on this e-mobility journey. We start with an, let's say, an assessment of your, of your personal needs. And then we look into all the challenges that come with e-mobility. Challenges like charging infrastructure, challenges like energy management, challenges like maybe local incentive programs that are available in your market. That's what we sort out together with you, together with our customer. And this is not an overnight consulting. I think this is really a kind of long-term relationship together with you. We experienced and we learned that we have to start at least six to 12 months before the first e-truck comes into your vehicle park. So this e-consulting, this e-mobility e-consulting is really key in your e-mobility journey to the future. And maybe, Laura, maybe you can explain a little bit about this e-mobility consulting. Yes, for sure. Yeah, for sure. let's do it. So for us, an individual customer consulting really is the key. So therefore, we start to clarify together with you your current application profiles and routes if they are feasible for an e-truck. Then we find out where, how long and how often a truck is parked to analyze different charging infrastructure scenarios. And based on all these information, we come up with an individual electrification plan of your depot. So we all know electromobility doesn't come for free. Therefore, we provide you a cost structure transparency between a diesel and an electro truck. And furthermore, helping you optimizing your total cost of ownership. For example, by identifying respective incentive programs. And in the implementation phase, we consult and train you and we offer you integrated software solutions. For example, an intelligent energy management for maximized efficiency. Within our Innovation fleet collaboration, we have learned how important it is to get familiar with e-mobility in an early stage. That's why we are rolling out our e-consulting approach in the next months in, in several markets and for sure adapted to the respective market requirements. And this leads me to the question, how e-ready are you? Let's find it out. To help you in entering into immobility, we developed an app with which you can be part of the innovation fleet in the near future. And you can find out how our prototypes fit to your roots and needs. How does it work? Let's have a look. With eTruck Ready, customers can analyze their daily driving routines to see if electric mobility fits their needs. With the help of the app, 
the customer can record and then simulate his everyday routes of the conventional truck. The recorded route can be viewed on the private profile and analyzed for the e-actress, for example. Important parameters such as the body, the ambient temperature, the stops, as well as the payload can be customized for each route individually. App and homepage answer the main question about e-mobility. What is the expected range of an e-truck and does it cover my needs? Wow, Laura, that's an impressive tool. That's, I think, a real added value for our customers at the end. The tool will be available on iOS and Android within the next weeks. And, and please use the tool. It gives you a first insight how e-mobility is working in your individual situation. So yes, let's go ahead. We have to start today. We cannot wait till next year. We have to start today. We will launch our e actros next year. So in 2021, we will start with the series production of our new e actros And now we have to start and we have to deal with e-mobility. You have got the opportunity. We want to support you. We want to sustainable support you in your journey to an emission-free future. You are able to really become a pioneer in our industry. And one thing what we learned, that was this triangle. I think we have to go this road together. It's really about cooperation and collaboration and supporting you in your journey to e-mobility. So let's the shape the future together with you. Thank you for your attention. It was really nice and let's go on, uh, on this journey together. I think that is really important and please enjoy the other deep dives. Thank you.